Right ladies and gentlemen, back again this is with a, a bench update. I haven't got too much going on but uh, we're giving bits and pieces so I'll show you what I've been up to with apart from the uh, the Enigma as you know I was doing two kits at once, bit of this, bit of that. I uh, started doing a, a buddy build with me, Matt, Matt Hill from Matt Hill's Models and Bob on our hangout which I have to get back onto to this tonight I think, I haven't been on for a while. Life's been uh, getting in the way. One thing and another, so hopefully tonight I shall be back with a chat with the lads. So without further ado, this is us what I've been doing. This is the say this is the group but with Bob um I can't remember his second name. I know, it's Bob and Matt Hills from uh Tasmania. It's the old Stug, to me it's Stug 4. Uh this is as far as I've got at the moment. Um I bought the P you see that needs tidying up. Side skirts, I'm gonna have to make my own a Zimmerit because it didn't come with the uh, the kit with the rest of the Zimmer, which I thought would have done, but uh, I shall have to do that. I've damaged them, so I've, I've damaged them, and I'm gonna have to cover it all up to a certain extent and then pick holes in it again. I think that's the only way I'm gonna be able to do it. But generally speaking, nice little kit, considering that you know it's cheap, one of the cheap ones at the moment because it had the batteries in the bottom. The wheels are all separate, I've got to paint them separately. Well, we got camera. So there's quite a few there on each end. So I've got to be uh, painted. I'll do them black and then I'll, you know, do the rest of them. So I just said the red, ox the red oxide and I'll have the Zimmer, it just wants to let, you know, tie it up in that. And then I'll be spraying that black. Uh, and there'll be some highlight coats with. Um, Instead of white, I might do grey. Instead of, I did grey and black last time. I'm going to do black and grey. This time, if you know what I mean. More more black than grey this time. Uh, just to see what happens, because I think the grey went down really well. Uh, the exhaust, I've got to put the exhaust, and that's separate. I've kept that off at the moment. Um, not really much else to say about this kit, really. It's just a little cheap to me kit. One of the old ones. Uh, it goes together, typical to me, no problems at all. You know, it's it's that old kit barrel. You know, it's seen came out of it really easily. Obviously, it's only a, you know, there's not much else to see him off there to file off there. That's quite nice. So the, I think there's a yeah, I've got a figure which is ready, it's primed, which is. Uh, Which isn't a bad figure really considering the edge of the kit, where are we at? Yeah, so he's on the top, uh, I think he's on the, no oh, he's not on the commander's cup, no he's on the, uh, oh, the loader or the gunner's cupola, so he'll be painted and sat there with the machine gun in the end. So then blocks I got from Neil, you know, mad Welshman, they really do quite, quite very very useful figures. Instead of using bits of this and bits of that, so that's a real, a real nice uh, thing you sent me. So I'd like to say thanks for that again, Neil. It was uh, nice you to send me those. So yours is on the way tomorrow. It's been picked up by Herms, so you should get your little Prezi tomorrow. Well, sometime this week. Uh, yeah, so that's as far as the kit's concerned. Nothing else on the bench as such, apart from my uh, my son is in the military, in the Royal Marines. Um, He's just been, he's just gone back, he's just been on leave. As, um, he did a heavy weapons course, um, which he passed. Um, and he's left me this, he's given me this. It's got, uh, you know, operator's guide for certain guns, and these are all the uh, syllabus is what he's been having to, uh, having to use. So there's all this information. And then we've got all the main battle tanks. APCs, you know, self propelled guns, and then all the little, you know, little things that you have to look at. You know, this is, I think, this is what he said the sort of the size that you have to look through through my, uh, a telescope to pick out what tank it is, what country, and things like that. But there's so many different variations. So we've got this another one for the uh, thing with all the uh, information again. Same again for the main battle tank. And then we're starting off with. Uh, Basically, this is the vehicle's a Stormer, and it's a it's a UK apparently, 
it's giving you all the amount of the you know the specifications for each one and then we've got this one here which is the these are this is German and this is the PH8 2000 which is a self-propelled gun let me just tilt it up a little bit bring the mic bring let's just bring bring it up a bit yeah, so there's all sorts of things in here. There's, you know, it's quite a thick book. You know, you've got uh, all the information on certain. All, they're all modern tanks. Obviously, we have uh, British again. We have the Scimitar, and then we have the Marder on there. Uh, the H Humvee, I think it is. And then we start with the main battle tanks, which is the M1A1 on there. All the information that you probably need. It's nice just to look at and you know reference reference things. And then we have the Panther, which is uh, Italy and UK. And then we have the Leopard 2. Yeah, it goes on and on and on. All the, all the modern day vehicles we have. And then there's more stuff behind here. It's the syllabus again, the lists, it carry on again. This is the old uh, T5554, which I've just uh, built the Enigma one. So I've got a bit of information on there. T72, the TU80, T80, the T80BV, all these are Russian. So jaw, jaw like this, all the Russian uh, sort of stuff. And then we've got French. Yeah, it goes on and on and on. So you see, it's kind of giving me this. A really nice, you know, bit of a bit of bit of reading information. So that was nice. Some of that uh, that will come in very, very, very useful. And say so thank you, my son. That was uh, a nice, nice present from you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say this is the end of this sort of bench update. There's nothing really else much going on. I'm going to do a kit review of an old Sher it's a Dragon Sherman with a fight with a flamethrower on. I uh, own it on auction on eBay, so I didn't pay a massive amount for it, and there's quite a lot of plastic in it really. But I've never built a Sherman, so it's going to be my first Sherman when I'm on the go with this. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to say, is there? I think we're uh, up to date with things. Yeah, we're up to date. Yeah, I'll give you a, a quick glimpse of the actual kit review that I'm going to use. It's this old. You see the box from here. It is the old flamethrower Sherman, the Dragon one. Paid 18 quid for it. 18 quid plus about three quid postage. So bargain. So I'll be doing a kit review with that shortly. And uh, that's it, that'll be my next build with the uh, after the, the Stug. So I've, now I'm going to go away and start doing some Zimmerit on the side plates. I might not put all the side plates back on, I may, I may not. But I'm just going to use the uh, needed tight stuff to do the Zimmerit, and I have a couple of Zimmerit tools. I think I've got, yeah, I have. I've got, I bought these quite a bit ago from well, eBay, I think it was, or Amazon, one of the two. The uh, trumpeter, ooh, one's fallen on the floor. So got the trumpeter, Zimmerit tools, so they'll come in really nice handy now. Leave them out. So they go. So I'll try and mix them, uh, match the pattern. Well, don't have to match the pattern as such because it was all higgly piggly. But yeah, so um, we're doing that next. So I'd say, like to say, thank you very much for watching, taking the time out you did to do so. And I say I'll, I'll do another build update with this as I'm progressing with it. And of course, we're doing the Sherman uh, unboxing. So, this is Greg signing off, and thank you very much.